Hey guys, welcome back to yet another thumbnail tutorial. It's gonna be like a little series on my channel that sometimes I'm gonna do another thumbnail tutorial and it's gonna be a part two, part three and everything. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna jump in right away with a new one. So like always, this is the size. You have 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels and 300 resolution. Uh, yes, be sure it's like this. These re this resolution is always like used with thumbnails and videos. So be sure it's on that. I'm gonna put the background on white. Okay, so there we go, I'm gonna zoom out one time. And actually what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna click the background, make it a layer by double clicking it, I unlock it and make it a layer. Uh, I double click it again, and I go to color overlay, and this is probably the red I want. Like, you could do it to the max, but I think it is slightly underneath is better, personally. So yeah, it's something like this, click okay. Okay again, so there we have our background already. Now I'm gonna do, I actually prepared this, I'm gonna place linked this guy here, <laughs> I know. And yeah, basically he's gonna help us with the thumbnail here, so I'm gonna make it a tiny bit smaller so that I can make some s slightly like changes. Okay, there we go. Move it a little bit like this, we'll do that afterwards. But as you can see, like I, I don't already like... Yeah, the way his hair is like cut out here it's it's done pretty badly so i'm gonna zoom in i'm gonna do this quick don't worry uh, there we go happy smiling face too so i'm gonna take this one i'm actually gonna put it on the hardness zero so if you get this is the gum the normal one like 100 percent hardness and if you take this one it's zero percent and it will be really smooth around the corners and everything so let's see if this one is good yes wait shoot change it like a little bit the size and the opacity I think the opacity doesn't know it's okay I it's a little bit too much so I'm actually gonna change the opacity slightly I'm gonna put it to 80 so it's not 100% like and this one yeah it should definitely be at least like something like 25 I don't know but just slightly going around the corners be sure to barely touch his hair as you can see they they, they kind of disappear and don't worry this is not really People wouldn't really notice this. I mean, it's it's done pretty quickly. As you can see, I'm not and I'm not even doing it in details. So this, like, will already make it look better than like when it is, you know. So I hope this looks quite good. It should good look good. And uh, yeah, there we go. See, it's already more fresh, let's say. But anyway, in any case, you wouldn't see it afterwards. So what we're gonna do now? Actually, gonna put him one down to be sure he's in the thumbnail well. Um, click, double click it again, and uh, we're gonna give him a stroke. As you can see, the people who like cut this out didn't really, but we get to this in a second. I will fix this, but yeah, that uh, that can happen. And then uh, an outer glow afterwards. But let me first fix this. I'm gonna zoom in again. This time I'm gonna take um, the eraser like to the max, so with 100% hardness, also 100% opacity and just just take this away up making this slightly more of a form that is you know normal well it's not perfect but you know it looks it looks kind of acceptable here so this point looks pretty good so yeah i'm gonna do then i'm gonna go to the guy again i'm gonna give him an outer glow and you can keep it like this as you can see it looks pretty good pretty business and everything but uh, yeah we're gonna make it white there we go and this has to be at 100. So like it is now, it is just like I gave him a uh, double stroke, right? It just looks like that. But yeah, this is something that works pretty well. So I'm just gonna do it like this. It, it, it depends on what looks best, you know? I mean, this looks pretty well already. I can make it like 25 and bring the stroke down a bit. Yes, that can work out uh, 10 at least actually. So yeah, that yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Just gonna take off like this, something like this. As you can see, yeah, it looks pretty. <laughs> this is like how they make those thumbnails, you know. So let's keep it. Let's say this is nice. So I'm gonna make the text. Um, I actually put my favorites now. As you can see, with the little star here, that I have my favorite ones, the ones that look the best, basically, that I have them together and that I can uh, choose like whenever what to do. So I think I'm gonna go with a uh, Balls of Bastille. I know the, weird, the name's kind of weird, but <laughs> uh, it should be pretty big. It's a thumbnail. It's 40, let's start with 40. Let's see how that fails. 
Um, oh wait, yes. Uh, so 40 white. Damn. So I'm gonna type like usually something like how to make a thumbnail. I'm gonna start with how to. Can make it pretty bigger as you can see. Let's see. Um, actually, too big is that. Let's put a little bit down. And another font, by the way. It needs to be a fat font. Wait, this one has it. Let's see. It look, yeah, it looks pretty. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, so uh, let's get this at 60. Yes, yes, let's do that. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna make a second text. So we have how to, and then make a. Gonna be. I'm gonna have barely place after this. Actually, I just realized how to make a. I just have to barely change this. I'm just gonna put it like a little bit underneath, something like that. Oh, there we go. Bam. So we have how to make a thumbnail. Of course, is the last one. So thumb can actually come on. Thumbnail. Can see it with the guy. Um, yeah, but it's. I think it's tied well. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna make this one smaller. Kind of a bit smaller. Um, okay, so I'm gonna move it. I moved it like this, the guy, because he was pretty much in the way. So now we can have we have more space to do this. See, let's put it around his shoulder. Indeed. Um, same here. This has to be in the middle of this text. Yes, you can actually make it pretty much larger if you really want to put in the details. Let's see, I think to, I think it's necessary to make three actions. So like this. Take it, be sure it's in the middle again. Let's say like this. And then the word thumbnail. Thumbnail. See, there we go. It still needs to make smaller because it's a long word. Something like this, I believe, is the good size. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put it in the middle. I hope it says the distance between the two. I don't think so, that's too bad. Um, bam, there's the middle. Okay, it does not give me the si same size as the other one, what it is, so I think it should be like this something. Should be good. Um, yes, let's put them one up, actually. Being a little bit perfectionist here. But yeah, then we have. Once we have this, I'm gonna do this. How to make a fun. I'm gonna place the layers like this. I'm gonna go to the one above, I'm gonna hold control, click G, and I'm gonna cl double click the name here, make sure it's the name, and I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, text. Text it is. I'm gonna put this one in, this one. Can close it. Then gonna put one of the corners so it's easier to move around, and basically what you wanna do, yeah, you can place it in the middle, that's all. Okay, so now I'm currently moving like the things a little bit around here so it looks better uh, let's put this one a little bit down and I think we're about to, uh, to be done here so to actually fill it up I'm gonna put part 2 here so that I can actually fill up the whole second um, part of the thumbnail okay there we go this should be it I'm gonna bring it down a little bit maybe just a slightly one because I, I wouldn't be able to do it a lot like this okay well I filled it up pretty well as you can see and uh, this is yeah this is another way to make a thumbnail actually, and you can just also make, I don't know, uh, the part 2 uh, in red a little bit. Like this, I don't know, you know, you know you can, oh wait, that doesn't work. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you can change the colors around, you can mess a little bit with it. You can even do yellow or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you can do all kinds of things, but basically this is like a really basic business channel, professionally looking thumbnail, okay? And, and as you can see, it is really easy to make. I mean, if you have the right tools, I mean, I, I took this guy off internet, you know, it's not even my picture. And cutting them out, I have another tutorial on my channel, how to cut out images, if you want one but has a background, and you definitely want that image. Use the tutorial, other tutorial on my channel, I'm sure it will help you out, and just make it look generally better. So yeah, uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's the second tutorial of a thumbnail, I'll make more of these uh, in the future to make different kinds of thumbnails. Hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, if you did, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to my channel. It would be really nice. I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.